And uh, uh, next up is the ever so pitiful G Force. G Force. Wow. Gee, force me out of the movie theater. I do not want to see this one. I know what you mean, Bob. When I saw that movie, I was about ready to puke my pants because. <laughs> <laughs> puke your pants? Where do you get off? I'm sorry, I heard it on a TV show once. <laughs> oh, you. This Bob guy, he's a character. Well, anyways, regardless of my cheap vulgarities, I would have to say that uh, that movie was pitiful. And uh, despite the awful act, Terrible voiceovers, which I mean, uh, the horrible writing, terrible story, horrible directing, poor story artists, poor costumes. It was, you know, CGI, so we're talking CGI guys who made the costumes, right? They're guinea pigs, they don't have costumes. Guinea pigs, really? Are ridiculous. The live action people with the costumes, they sucked. The lighting was terrible. Did the boom operator guy fall asleep on the job? I think he did, and you know what? I would too, because that movie sucked. Okay, G Force. Why? In the world, would Nicolas Cage be a guinea pig called Darwin? Does he just want to die? I mean, putting Nicolas Cage in a kid's film is like putting, you know, Jack the Ripper in Barney. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't go <laughs> like, it doesn't mesh, you know? Oh, uh, hit us up on the next list. The next one is the ever so disappointing G.I. Joe's G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra. Wow, now that was ridiculous, because I went into that movie definitely expecting some snake action. You know what I got? No. No. There was no cobras whatsoever in that movie. And I was outraged by the fact that I heard Samuel L. Jackson was going to be in this movie. And you know what? He wasn't in the movie. Yeah. And you know what? I heard Penelope Tate was going to be in it. No, you didn't see her in it. Oh, and She was supposed to be G.I. Joe. And she didn't get it. She lost. Well, I heard, I heard there was some contract issues with that. She wanted two million. They were only offering her five million. She just wouldn't do it. Well, that's the agents for you. Mm. And so, yeah, Joe. Ugh, I don't even want to review that because it just might make me like die because it's talking about it. I mean, it's it horrible. was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, hit us up. I'm tired of this. Hit us up. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Well, Bob, considering this is the ninth installment of the Harry Potter franchise, I have to say that it was the worst out of all eight. And I'm going to have to agree with Bob. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince was like the worst installment of the Harry Potter series. I mean, the book. I mean, I might sound like a nerd here, but it's so much better. They left so much key stuff out. They almost turned it into like a high school musical deal. I mean, there was no one that's love story this, love story that, I'm angry at you. All the music numbers. I mean, <laughs> there was there was points where, you know, Hermione is angry at Harry, and then the next, next scene, they're like laughing together, and then they both hate Ron. What I mean, is that about, Bob? There was just... What just, is that about? There was no motivation towards those characters, towards feelings one another. I mean, it was just bar and horrible. All right, hit us up with the next one. The next one is Julia, Julie and Julia. Now, that was quite the strategy for marketing. I mean, do they just want to attract people of that yes. nature? You guys know what I'm talking about. You saw the commercials, right? And I have to say, Meryl Streep's performance was great, as usual. Meryl Streep, uh, she's, well, you know, based on if you put in all the performances, I'd have to say that she's, you know, very second grade musical. I mean, she's pitiful. That was ridiculous. I, Mom, I, we're talking about Meryl Streep here. Meryl Streep, yeah, you know, she she sucks, the, she, you know. The great Meryl Streep? Yeah, the Meryl Streep, she sucks. I've lost all respect for you. So hit us up with our next movie. And the next one is the ever so horrific orphan. Well now, Bob, when I heard, I, I went to my favorite site, you know, moviesforidiots.com, right? Yes. And I looked at the plot, okay? Now, the plot made me giggle so hard, I felt like my ribs were about to be chucked up through my spit. Because it was so ridiculous. I mean, that's... Do you remember it? I mean, I remember watching Orphan. And I was sitting there in the theater with my popcorn, and this scenes, I was busting out laughing with this guy. And everyone was just looking at us like, we're idiots. But it's not... They say it's a horror film. It's more like you're running mill crude humor comedy. I mean, it was hilarious. When I was sitting there with my, you know, giant 30-ounce 
bag of popcorn. I was laughing so hard that I looked down and it was gone. I had inhaled that sucker because that movie was funnier than crap and you know where. Now, the, see, the plot was that these people adopt an orphan. Who starts terrorizing me? Okay, you know, when I heard that, I almost coughed up a lung. That was I ridiculous. Mean, I mean, it was... I mean, orphan, really... Who can take that seriously? I mean, no one's going to sit here with a straight face and go, Orphan, the drama of the century. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they'll be doing. It's a terrible movie. Oh, I'm over it. It makes oh. me angry. 50 bucks I mean, out the window. Let's, okay, on. first, The Orphan. If you're if you're looking for your horror film, don't watch it. But if you let it be laugh out of your mind. You want to laugh so hard you don't know where your shoes ended up? <laughs> well, hey, you better check this movie out. Okay, okay. next movie. The Ugly Truth. The Ugly Truth. Well, I believe The Ugly Truth is this movie sucked. <laughs> I believe so also. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, this movie was the chick flick beyond all chick flicks. I mean, the whole title sequence and the whole scenes. I mean, it was like I was like watching, you know, my second friend's best friend date this girl and they're laughing and giggling. I mean, it was... Chick flicks aren't my thing because I don't like action movies. Just movies with non-stop action, that's just not my I thing. I mean, it's just, it's just not my thing. Chick flicks aren't mine. I mean, the, the ugly truth is just ugly. Ask him. You know, Karen's dragged me into so many of those movies that... Karen. Boy, uh, huh? Karen's my wife. Huh? Karen is my wife. Who said anything about Karen? You just did. You said Karen dragged me into all these movies. No, I didn't. It's pin. on videotape! I didn't say Karen. Did Bob, you say Karen? Bob, you're being a little, um... Look, the polls are showing up within five seconds. Bob, so you said Karen. Bob, you're being a little... You said Karen! Bob, you're being paranoid. Now stop it. Karen! Bob, you're being paranoid. You said Karen! You're being paranoid! Now stop it. Okay? I said a panda named Willie. <laughs> no, you didn't. You said Karen! I promise. I said a panda named Willie took me into all these movies. Why? You said Karen. I said a panda named Willie. <laughs> Willie the panda that dragged me into okay. these chick flicks, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, did Willie the panda drag you into our next movie called Bruno? Now that was a second eight movie! <laughs> I agree so. <laughs> that movie, I swear. Oh. Uh, now, if I want to watch a bunch of idiots. <laughs> This guy is great. I don't know how young people watch them. If I wanted to watch a bunch of idiots run around and be idiots, then I could have gone downtown and slid to the local duck pond. Look, guys, Bruno was the most outrageous, stupidest film that ever created, and it was so horrible. I mean, Sasha Baron Cohen. I mean, what the crap? I mean... <laughs> well, that's absolutely ridiculous, Bob. I mean, please, I beg y'all, don't go and see Bruno. Horror. Don't go and see Bruno. Like you said, if you want to see a bunch of idiots, I mean, just go on down to your local supermarket. You're bound to find <laughs> a couple idiots of bumbling like idiots hitting each other with two by fours. Now, I want to know something, Bob. I mean, of all the aspiring writers out there with good ideas, some guy comes along with a script called Bruno. And they say this is good enough to be made into film and spend time on? I don't think so. Where has America done? Think about that. Anyone could write something that ridiculous. I mean, it's out of the park. Now, guy is an idiot. Guy does stupid stuff. Guy does more stupid stuff. People around him do stupid stuff. The end. Someone said, wow, this is genius. Okay. What? Now, that's the end of our movie segment. We're uh, Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of the Bob and Robert Show. Uh, maybe next week we'll talk about the new releases if we're not so angry. enthralled. Just, you know, okay, we'll now, tone it down next week. Um, but we're glad we informed you of all the movies, and hopefully and we got, this was our two cents. Stay and somewhat intelligent. But yet happy.